Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 6th, 2021. Well, yesterday we saw a surge right into the close with a lot of confidence, an awful lot of confidence, setting new records in the SPY and the QQQ ahead of this job number, uh, the unemployment sit or the employment situation number. Um, they seem to have an awful lot of confidence yesterday into the close, not so much this morning. So how about we settle in? Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's see if we can take a look at these charts and gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the day. But I got to tell you, um, everything could change um, an hour before the the actual market open. Um, let's take a look at the Dow. First off here in the diamonds, you can see that we have had this really choppy wide range, um, nearly 500 point swing from the top to the bottom um, in the market. And yesterday we saw this surge back up. Isn't it interesting? We look at this, we, okay, we're bearish. Nope, we're bullish. Nope, we're bearish. Nope, we're bullish. And we're trying to push back up here in the market. Every day we kind of change our mind as to what's going to happen. And you can see we're trying to push up here just a little bit this morning in anticipation of this um, employment situation number. The, the economists have such a wide range of estimates in this. Uh, it, it's truly uh, anything is possible here. So um, I guess what we have to do at this point is just wait for the number. Hopefully you're prepared and hopefully um, I've been giving warnings of this all week to be prepared for that possibility. And we are definitely within striking distance of new record highs. If we can get a good number, there's no reason to believe why we couldn't push on out of this range. But if we also, if we happen to get a poor number, if we come in on the low side of that estimates, I would not be surprised to see us break down this support. It could be an ugly move should we break down that support. So how are you dealing with it? Well, hopefully you're all prepared for that circumstance. And if we take a look at the SPY, you would think that there was nothing going on here. The SPY tried to move up confidently, setting a new record high yesterday into the close. The bulls are definitely in control. But I'm certainly worried about complacency here. When we are so bullish ahead of such an uncertain number, that makes me kind of nervous. Now, certainly they could be right and we could continue to move on higher here if that number comes in strong. But I've also seen all over the place, there's people that are either um, an incredibly bullish or those that are incredibly bearish. In fact, I saw posts yesterday of folks that were just loading up on puts thinking that this is going to be that uh, capitulation moment this morning. I don't know if that's true, and I certainly would want to bet the farm on that, but there is and this massive divide here in the market. Could this be the capitulation moment? Uh, maybe, but let's just kind of uh, protect our capital. Let's wait and see how we move from this point. Um, keep in mind, new record highs. We could certainly continue to set those record highs, but you're going to want to watch this price level pretty carefully. If we happen to miss on that number, if we were to push down, close down below here, I would say that could be pretty damaging overall for the market. So watch that close. QQQ, very much the same. Um, now the QQQ futures are not quite as positive this morning as Diamonds and Spy. They're pulling back just a little teeny tiny bit. But we set new record highs yesterday and that possibility if that number comes in uh, positive that we could continue to march higher and the bull run continues. If that bull happens to stumble, if we miss on these numbers, let's watch some of these price support areas right in here. If we were to uh, come down in here, and, and by the way, I think there really is the possibility that we could be um, um, up here or above here 
for the open of the day or down here and and open down here for the open of the day that's how big this number could be today um, and that that kind of big swing that could occur um, an hour before the market opens so watch that carefully and closely and hopefully you're prepared for this and um, are not overextended on either direction of this market um, because anything is possible and then let's take a look at IWM IWM even had a very confident rally back up yesterday uh, although there is nothing confident um, about this price pattern in the chart just a massive amount of price um, resistance in that area as well as that 50-day moving average so although we have just a little teeny tiny hold of support here that little tiny rally going on we still have this ugly pattern and you'd have to kind of squint here maybe to see this but there is that little possibility that we're we've formed a little head and shoulders um, on this chart if we were to fail if that number were to come in um, ugly on that employment situation um, watch this carefully and I think if it does fail watch for that 200 day moving average in IWM to be the next target so let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX you would think that setting new record highs in the diamonds and the spy we would see the VIX pulling back a lot more than this notice we've had our lows down here when we set record highs before but we just can't seem to get out from under this now I have to give this up a little bit to the bulls yesterday because depending on how you draw this we did slip just enough to kind of break that um, that little upside trend that we've been seeing here in the VIX but I gotta tell you that break was not all that confident um, in that move. And let's keep in mind that we still have a considerable amount of price support in this area as well. And you would think setting new record highs in the, in the diamonds and spy, we would have enough confidence that our VIX would actually be setting new lows, but that's not the case. We're not down here. We're still up here and we're still ranging right there on that 50 day moving average holding it as support at the moment so kind of an interesting situation and um, can we push through now I've been I've been drawing this out and you guys have seen me do this multiple times um, I think um, as long as we stay below the 20 handle we're in pretty good shape but we do have to recognize this little bit of an upside um, trend that's happening here and this wedge that's been forming in this chart there seems to be a lot of pressure building on the market here so watch that carefully if this happens to be that capitulation moment in the market we could see this surge really quickly um, we need to see this drop hard if we're going to stay bullish in the market let's take a look at our t2122 now I do think it was interesting yesterday t2122 definitely rallied off of those lows yesterday but it wasn't overly confident notice that we're just kind of ranging in here um, in this well I think it's showing us that uncertainty but having said that t2122 does not tell us the direction of the market it just says that where the pressure points are and we certainly have upside opportunity if we can get a, a positive number here uh, today on that employment situation no reason to believe we're not going to set more record highs diamonds will probably set a record high today and we could continue to surge to the upside if we happen to stumble here though just realize we have about an equal uh, just a little bit more space to the downside for a move if that were to occur so watch that closely anything is possible today and it's I think it's just showing us that uncertainty here in t2122 if we look at t2101 that absolute market breadth boy I gotta tell you um, rallying to new record highs and seeing the market breadth continuing to fall that that is a contradiction that uh, makes me very very nervous and I'm going to be watching this number pretty closely today because we, we seem to be building toward that capitulation moment but I don't know if today is today 
is the day. So just watch that closely as market breadth falls as we hit new record highs. Mm, we have to be a little bit careful and we have to be a little bit cautious about how we approach the day. Watch this price action pretty carefully this morning. Anything is possible. Um, but there's something out of whack here. And one of the members from Rightway Options yesterday brought um, brought up the um, um, the T2107. The T2107 is the number of stocks that are above their 200-day moving average. And I want you to notice how this has been dropping pretty dramatically. And what they had pointed out was that um, if we were to do a comparison, look at the divergence that's occurring here. The number of stocks in the indexes that are above their 200-day moving average has been falling dramatically as we've been setting new record highs um, in the market. Look at the divergence here on that. Um, pretty remarkable. So just kind of keep an eye on this. I'm not saying today is the day um, in any way, shape, or form, but I say we're kind of building up some pressure here um, in this market. And um, you should have a plan to protect yourself, should, uh, and I've been talking about this all week, should we happen to stumble. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And of course, what we've been talking about all morning here is the Mac Daddy of the day. That's going to be that employment situation number and how that number comes in. Consensus estimates range from 350,000 to 1.2 million. Um, if you take a look at the economists that come up with a prediction for the uh, on the Dow, they have it at 845,000. Econo Day um, has it at 900,000. And let's keep in mind our private payrolls report missed badly. Our private payrolls report missed by half. And our private payroll number in the employment situation number here is over 700,000. So we could stumble on this pretty easily, but we could also see that government number come out strong. Who knows? Um, so just watch that closely and it's all going to be tied up in that number today. That'll, that'll decide our direction most likely. And although we have a um, considerable number of earnings today. The focus is definitely going to be that jobs data. Let's take a look at those earnings. Um, and I want to remind everyone that um, if you click the link below the title of the video, there is a link that goes back to the morning blog and you can check out um, these reports. Um, uh, all the notables that I that I have today. Now we've got over 135 companies listed on the earnings calendar today, but a great deal of them are small cap unconfirmed reports. So we don't have all that many of potential market moving reports this morning. Um, so we're kind of what we're seeing here is we, the bulk of our market moving reports will be behind us after this week. And then we'll be left with a market at new record highs and um, trying to decide what's going to move us forward from that point. So kind of keep that in mind. Although we have a busy week next week of earnings, the big market market moving reports are kind of behind us. Let's take a look. Um, today we'll, we could see some movement in cannabis. We have uh, CGC reporting today. Notice this has just been in a terrible, ugly decline here. So um, uh, they'll, they'll be reporting here this morning. Looks like they're trying to perk up just a little bit here this morning. And we're also going to get a report from uh, Crone, another cannabis company. And you can see it's trying to perk up as well. So keep an eye on those cannabis stocks today. They might get some movement around these reports. Uh, we're going to have DraftKings. Um, DKNG reporting today. So watch that closely. I've been um, talking about this one here recently with this higher low. And as we push through here, and it looks like we're trying to be bullish this morning, if we push through this downtrend hold up in this area, then there may be some upside opportunity in there. So keep a close eye on that. We're going to hear from Ruth Chris Steakhouse today. We're going to hear from Nuance today 
we're going to hear from Goodyear Tire today. So keep an eye on those reports. Again, not exactly the kind of reports that really move the market. We're going to be focused in on that jobs data and how the market reacts to that today. So again, if you want to get that full list, click that link. Uh, below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog also if um, this is the first time that you have seen these videos if you guys could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos I would truly truly appreciate that and then also push that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It's that engagement with the video that makes a difference in growth, helps um, attract more folks to the videos. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does do that. Um, truly, 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 um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Almost 23,000 subscribers now, so we are growing. And um, that is a nice thing to see. And also, thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel through that Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But please keep in mind, guys, that no matter what I post here this morning, literally anything is possible after after this number today. So although I'm going to post out some uh, potential charts to be keeping an eye on, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Um, anything, anything could happen here today. First off, um, let's start with the very bullish. Take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft extremely bullish, pushing up to new highs here in that chart, showing lots and lots of bullishness here, holding on to this beautiful upside trend. Um, I think there may be some more upside potential in here, particularly if that number comes in good today. Watch that closely. Microsoft looking very strong. Um, we saw um, really good moves um, in Apple yesterday. Apple pushing back up and by the end of the day just rested a little tiny bit in here. But notice we have that opportunity that we could, this resting pattern in here could set up that next opportunity to the upside. We do have a little bit of a teeny tiny downtrend there that we need to beat um, in that move, but that's certainly possible should we get a good number. However, I wanna also say because we have this pattern here, we have that double-edged sword that could, um, you know, bite us here. If this number were to come in ugly today, that possibility that we could dip below here and start breaking this down is also there. So this is one of those charts that could go either way. Keep a close eye on that. You might want to keep a close eye on stocks like Oracle. Whoops, I can't type. Um, Oracle. Oracle is still holding up very, very well, looking strong. Notice we had this surge here recently to the upside. We're testing this price resistance. And notice after that surge, there's been really no selling. It's just kind of resting in here. So if we can get that bullish um, move here in the market, there's no reason to believe that couldn't push on through and hit new highs there. Oracle. Also take a look at Cisco. Um, Cisco is setting up nicely in here. Been really, really strong and holding up. And what's nice about Cisco is we finally have a stock that is in a price range that um, a lot more folks can afford besides these that are just extremely extended. So keep an eye on that Cisco, nice upside trend, looking bullish here in that chart. Definitely worth keeping an eye on. Let's take a look at some of these retail stocks. Oh my goodness, there's been uh, some amazing moves in retail. Take a look at UAA. UAA is something I hold as a long-term uh, position. And um, wow, this surge in here, incredible. Now, what I would say on this is don't chase this, but wait for the next entry into this trade. Breaking through this level up here could be important for UAA. Any rest or pullback could set up that opportunity. So wait for that trade. Also saw some moves in like, um, TJX coming up yesterday, coming up off of these lows, trying to push through watch that. 
Um, obviously, the Target, the Costco, those things are incredibly strong um, to the upside. They have been really, really big movers and continue to show lots and lots of bullishness um, in those charts. Now, on the other side of things, let's take a look at um, energy. Energy um, still struggling here. Notice that energy is still well below its 50-day moving average. And although we popped up the last couple of days of trading in here, I don't see this as a bullish pattern. So you might want to look to some of those energy stocks if we start to falter here. Remember, um, we do have that possibility that, that these could sink right back down into that 200 day moving average kind of make that double bottom and then we could rally from there but watch that closely there may be some short trades in there if you're looking for something like that for a short trade and i've mentioned drip a couple of times um and drip being um, an inverse etf on um, oil and gas production and keep a close eye on that. Um, there is that possibility that this is producing that round of bottom breakout pattern for an upside move. So with that guys, I'm gonna kind of limit it to just a few of these today because you know anything is possible this morning. So I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Be careful with this number this morning. Who knows what happens from here? I want to wish you all of the best, and more importantly, I think I want to wish you a fantastic weekend. Y'all take care of yourselves, have a great one, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.